Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. We'll start this session, session five. As we said last class, we ended up on the ba, <coughs> the letter ba. So today we'll start our session with the practice lesson, lessons, the practice assignment using the ba. So do these four rows. We have four rows for. We have four rows for the bat practice, so do them. And once you're done, continue on with the video and we'll go through them together. At this point, you don't need to write on the top line in English and then on the bottom in Arabic. You can write both on the top and bottom in Arabic. So just write it, read it first. Baridu, baridu, and write it in Arabic on the top line and write it again in Arabic on the bottom. You don't know, you don't need to write it anymore in English at this point because we are getting more used to the letters uh, now because we've been we've been going we've went through four sessions so we have a better understanding of the letters so there's no need for you to write it on the top line anymore <coughs> so once you're done uh, um, continue on with the video and we'll go through them together so pause your video now thank you Okay, now we'll go through them together. You should have paused your video, did them, now continued with your video, and now we'll go through the words together so you can see how you did. First word, this is the ba in its connected form. Ba ri du. Next word, ba du bi du ni. Bi du ni. Bi du ni. Next word, the ba with the fatha. Ba. Followed by the dal da, bed ru, bin ta, nebatu, dubur, 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 seb, septa. This letter here we didn't take yet, so. Your excuse from that one, as well as here. We didn't take this letter either. So your excuse from this one. And here, you didn't take this letter yet. We'll we'll take it next, but we didn't take it yet. So you excused from the letters we didn't take yet. Next row. Uh, here we're right here. Second row. Sabur, sabur, the scene. With the fatha sa, followed by the ba in its connecting form, ba, ba, followed by the wow, bu, ru. sabur. Next row, ba, babu, babu, babu. Next word, saraba. Saraba, the ba here. Seen followed by the fatha. Sa, ra followed by the alif. Ra, sara, then the ba followed by the fatha ba. Saraba, next word. Rasuba, 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 rasuba. Together, rasuba, rasuba. Next word, Ned B, Ned B, Ned B, together, Ned B. The last row, Bur Ni Tu, Bur Ni Tu, Bur Ni Tu, together. Bornitu. Remember, we said these are not all words. Most of them are not even words. We're just practicing with the letters we learned, making combinations of fake words so you can get practice of the letters we learned. Next row, or next word. Ba followed by the ya, followed by the ra. Bir followed by the wow. U biruta. That uh, here. 
We didn't learn this letter. I don't know why the author put it in. He must have made a mistake. We didn't learn that letter yet. The next word. Burudi. 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 <clears throat> the last word. Cindy bad. Cindy bad. Now here, why is the yeah not connecting to the dad? I'm asking you this question. <coughs> What's the reason? <coughs> the reason, if you do not know until now, even though we went through it many times, it's because the dad is not a connector. It does not connect to any letter after it, no matter if the letter after it is a connector or non-connector. It doesn't matter. The point is the dal is not a connector. So it doesn't connect the letters after it. So this word is Cindy bad. Cindy, this letter ya, e, c, this kasra, c, not c, just like the, I mean, e, just like the ya, it doesn't make an e, long e sound, just e. Cindy bad. Now we'll go on to dictation. We have four words for dictation, one through four on your paper. And we'll go through them. And we'll do them, then go through them. We have four words for dictation. The first word, babu. 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 The next word, saraba, saraba, saraba. <clears throat> you should be listening to see which is the long vowel and which is the short vowels. You should be able to write the short vowels correctly and the long vowels incorrectly. So you should be listening carefully to distinguish. Saraba. Third word, Rasu, Rasuba. Listen for the short vowels and long vowels in every word that I read to see if it has long vowels in it or short vowels in it or both or one or the other. Rasuba, Rasuba. The last word. <coughs> Ned, Ned Ba, Ned Ba, or sorry, not Ned Ba, Ned B, Ned B, Ned B. Now we'll go through them so, so you can see how you did. Here are the answers to dictation. First word was babu. The ba in its connecting form, connecting to the alif. Ba, not babu. That would be a short a, which is a fatha. Babu, long vowel. U, not u. Babu, just u. Babu, not babu. Babu, not babu. Next word, saraba, sa, not sa, ra, ba, saraba, a, long vowel in the middle, sa, ra, ba, not sa, ra, ba, or sa, ra, ba, saraba. Third, third word, us. Rasuba. Rasuba. All vowels were short vowels. Rasuba. Rasuba. And the ba in its standard form at the end. The ba here in its standard form because it doesn't connect. 
the ba here in the beginning in its connecting form because it connects two letters after it connecting here to the alif and then here standard form at the end because it doesn't connect to any letter because it doesn't the alif does not connect to any letter after it because <coughs> it's not a connector then the last word nadbi nadbi <coughs> nadbi Ned B, not Ned B, or Ned B, Ned B, short vowel. Here, the ba is connecting to the dal in its connecting form because we said that the ba connects to any letter after it because it's a connector. No matter if the letter after it is not a connector or not, or is a connector or not, because the ba is a connector, connects to any letter after it. Ned B, and here it's in its standard form. We'll go on now to the next letter. We'll inshallah take four letters this session, bismillah. So we'll go on to the next letter, which is the letter ta. The next letter is the ta. The ta is pronounced like the English T in the word T and is written with the exact exactly the same way as ba except that it has two dots above it instead of below instead of one below it should rest on the line and not below the line and its connecting form is also identical to the ya except that the two dots are above the letter instead of below Ya is connecting form as we went through is two dots below the letter the ta similar except the two dots are above the letter in its connecting form And in the standard form, the ta, similar to the ba, except the two dots are above the letter instead of one below. So now we'll go through some practice again with the ta, the new letter we learned, the ta, some practice. <coughs> we have four rows again, do all four in, Ar in Arabic on the top and in Arabic on the bottom. Just write it in Arabic now, twice. Instead of in English on the top and in Arabic on the bottom, just write it twice in Arabic so you can get more practice. Because at this point, you don't need to write it anymore in English. You should read it first. Turabu. Turabu. Then write it in Arabic twice. And then once you're done, continue on with the video. So pause it now, please, and do them all four rows. Then continue on and we'll go through them together. Now we'll go through them together. The first word, you should have paused it and did them. First word. Turabu. Turabu. Here's the ta in its standard, or in its connecting form. Ta. Turabu. Next word. Tada. Tada rasa. Tada rasa. Ta. Da. Ta. Da. Ra. Sa. Tadarasa. Next word. Tartibu. Tartibu. Not boo. Tartibu. 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 The ta here in its connecting form. Tar. Here again in the middle in its connecting form because it's connecting to letter after it. It's a connector. It connects to any letter after it. Tartibu. Next word. Tar Ted Ribi. Ted Ribi. Ted Ribi. Here it is in its connected form in the beginning. Ted Ribi. 
The next row, ra followed by alif. Ra, ta, with a kasra on, on, on the bottom of it. T, ra ti, ba, ra ti 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 ba. Remember, we have to prolong the long vowels and keep the short ones short. Even I. As you notice, make mistake with that. Ra tiba. <coughs> because I'm also beginning my learning of the Arabic as you are. Except that I finished the course I'm teaching now. So I'm just a stage ahead of you. <coughs> yani with the reading and writing. <coughs> the next word. Sata. Sata dru su. Setadru su. Set a. Setadru su. 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 Sorry. Setadru. Setadru. Setadru su. Setadru su. Seted Rusu. Here's the ta in its connecting form in the middle of the word. Next word. Ne followed by the ta. T with a kasra on the bottom. Natina. 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 Here's the noon in the beginning. Here. Here's the ta in its connecting form. Na ti na. Here's the noon at the end in its standard form. Na ti na. Na ti na. The noon in its standard form because it's at the end. The ta in its connecting form connecting to the noon. And the noon is in its connecting form in the beginning connecting to the ta. Na ti na. Next word. The scene followed by the kasra. Si. Sitter. Sitter. At. Sitter at. Sitter at. At. The end. At. Sitter at. Together. Sitter at. Sitter at. <coughs> the third row. <coughs> the ba with the fatha banata 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 dara dara stu dara stu dara stu barudat Barudat. Barudat. No long vowel here. Bar. Ru. Dat. Barudat. Sadati. 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 The ta at the end here. Here's the ta. Standard form in the beginning. Tar di di. 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 Tar. Here's the ta in the beginning. In its connecting form. Tar di di. Natur. Natur. Here's the ta in its connecting form in the middle. Followed, uh, followed by the wow, so it connects to it because it's connected. Tur. Natur. Here's the long vowel a, uh, the long vowel wow. The long vowel alif a, uh, na, the long vowel wow. U. Natur. 
in the raw with the sukun on it meaning that there's no short vowel on it so it's just natur not naturi or natura or naturu just natur 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 dir dir as dir as tuna dir as tuna smoothly dir as tuna dir as tuna tu na tu dir as tuna a at the end here's the ta in the middle and it's connecting form connecting to the noon and connected to by the scene which is also a connector before it the ras to the ras tuna the ras tuna <clears throat> the last word nest nest nidu here's the noon nest noon fa noon with a fatha followed by seen nas ta with a fatha ta noon with a kasra ni dal with a dhamma do nas tan ni do nas tan ni do nas tan ni do nas tan nas ta ni do nas ta ni do Remember the ta. Nas ta nidu. Nas ta ta. Nas ta nidu. And here is the ta in its connecting form right there. Connecting to the noon. Hope you could see clearly. Here's the noon, the scene, the ta with the fatha, followed by the noon with the kasra and the dal, followed by the dhamma. Let's ta nidu. Now we'll go on to dictation. We have four words for dictation. The first word, I'll read them all three times slowly. Two times slowly and one time at a more of a normal pace. The first word, Turabu, 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 Remember to listen for the long and short vowels. Tu rabu. Tu rabu. <coughs> the next word. Tadarasa. 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 <clears throat> the third word. Tartibu. 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 The last word. Tedribi. 
تدريبي تدري تدريبي تدريبي I'll go through them. Here are the words for dictation. So you can see how you did. The first word was Turabu. 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 See the U here is a short U. Tu. Not Turabu. It's just Turabu and here a uh, Turabu Turabu The ta here it's in its connecting form. The next word was Tadarasa <coughs> Tadarasa Here's the short vowels Ra Sa Da the the alif here ah ta da rasa and here is the ta and it's connected form <coughs> <coughs> the next word was tartibu 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 the long vowel e t b tar tar short vowel not tar tar not tar 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 t b here's the ta and it's connected form in the beginning all the words were with the ta and its connected form in the beginning <coughs> And here, tadrib, tadribi, tadribi. So here, our dictation was with the ta, and all of the ta's were in the beginning here. <coughs> so, inshallah, you did well. If you didn't do well, you should go through the lesson again to have more practice so you can. Make sure you're doing well with the dictation and with the quizzes. Last class we didn't have a quiz. Inshallah this class we will. Now we'll go on to our next letter, which is the letter Kath. Now we'll go on to the letter Kath. The letter calf is pronounced like the English consonant K. And it is written in two strokes. The first stroke is a vertical downward stroke, like that of the alif, by a horizontal extension to the left, with a slight upward curl at its end like the ba. The second stroke is like a stretched S. It should rest the letter itself in full should rest on the line and not below the line. I'll show you now on the board. So here you can see the steps of the calf. First is a vertical line downwards like the alif, then a 
horizontal extension to the left as you can see and then a curve tail at the end like the bat and then a stretch Z in the middle this is a standard form I'll show you now its connecting form it's a connector the calf as we said is a connector and its connecting form is that of the backward Z as you can see here the first step is a 45 degree downward slant as you can see here to the right like that followed by a curved extension to the left so like that to the left like a large dad the second stroke is a 45 degree downward slant to the left here which meets the upper tip of the big dal to form a 90 degree angle there so we go like that first to the left then we bring the line from the top I'll, I'll demonstrate it now on the board So I'll demonstrate what I just said. You should do it just like that. You can connect it, of course, if there's no problem. So as we said, this part here is like a large dead. Then a straight line at the top, curved 45 degree to the left. So it's simple, it's like a backward Z. So no, now we have our practice uh, assignment with the calf. So do the first two rows. Pause your video, do the first two, and we'll, we'll go through it together once you're done. Okay, now we'll go through it together. You should have paused your video and did them by now. You should have paused your video so you can do them. Now we'll go through them together. The first word. Kabiru. Here's the calf. Ka in its connecting form. Kabiru. Kursi, Kursi, calf in its connected form. Kitaba, Kitaba, again, calf in its connected form. Kasani, Kasani, again, calf in its connected form. Here, the second row, the calf is in the middle. Nakira 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 Calf in its connecting form in the middle of the word. Here, again, this is the whole second row, the calf is in the middle of the word in its connecting form. Next word was Sukunu 
Sukunu. Remember the long vowels. Ooh. Sukunu. Not Sukunu. That would be all long vowels. It's not. The lama here is short vowels. Su. Su. Ku. This wow is long. Sukunu. The next word is the ta. We're using the ta here, but the the calf is still in the middle of the word. Tarak, tarakna, tarakna, tarakna. Next word, bukuri, bukuri, bukuri. I'll go on to the next two rows. Now, please do them. We'll go through them once you're done. Pause your video. You should have did them. Pause your video. Now we'll go through them together. You should have did it before you continued on. If you didn't continue, if you didn't do it, go back, pause your video, and do them before you continue, before we go through them together. Now we'll go through them, but you should have did them before we go through them. Here, the third row, the calf is at the end of the word. <coughs> Daras, daruka, 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 daruka. Here's the cap. Next, back, or sorry, benku, benku, benku. Here's the cap at the end. Benku. Here's the ba, the fatha ba. Na, or the noon, in a standard or in its connecting form, followed by the calf in its standard form at the end of the word, followed by a dhamma. Benku. Durusika. 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 <coughs> Here's the calf. <coughs> du. Short vowel uh, dhamma. Du. Long vowel wow. U. Duru si. Si. The fatha. Er, the kasra. The kasra. Si. Short vowel. E. Si ka. The fatha. A. Up here. Short vowel. A. Ka. Duru si ka. Remember, you should have wrote him twice on the line. <coughs> Next word. Banatuka, Banatuki, Banatuki. Fourth row, the calf is in. Well, it's mixed. Some is in the middle, or some is in the beginning, and some are at the end. None is in the middle. First word of the fourth row, Kanu, Kanu. Canu, remember a u, canu, not canu or canu. It's canu, long. Here's the calf in the beginning. Next, naraki, naraki. Next, tabaraka. 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 Here's the calf at the end. A. Ba. Baraka. Tabaraka. <coughs> Which means he blessed. That's actually a word. Next. Tarakuka. Tarakuka. Tara, 
تركوك تركوك or you could say تركوك which means they left you without the فتحة at the end and or on the kaf تركوك تركوك which is what it says here's the calf in the middle so there was a calf in the middle here I didn't notice that calf in the middle and the calf at the end تركوك now we'll go on to dictation we have four words for dictation first word كبير 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 The next word Nakira 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 Third word, the ruka, the ruka, the ruka. Fourth word, canu, 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 canu. Now we'll go through them. Here are the answers to the dictation. Kabiru Nakira Daruka Daruka Kanu. Now, I didn't show you the method to write the calf connecting to letters after it. I forgot. So, I'm going to show you now. I showed you how it how it's, it looks, but I didn't show you how to do it to give you an idea. So, say we're gonna do this one here. Kabiru, we're gonna write it. What we said is we write the large dal, right? And then we go up to the ba, connect straight, you don't stop. Then to the ya, straight, no stop. Then we go on to the ra. It's all smooth. Then we go back and we add all our uh, parts and dots. So I didn't show you during the practice, which is when I sh should have showed you because I forgot. And because it's difficult to write so on the computer, so I forgot to do it. So here, the calf. See how I did it? Then we put the dot of the ba on the bottom of the ba. Then the two dots on the bottom of the ya. Yeah. And 
and then we go back we put the fatha and the dhamma kabiru okay I'll do another one for you we'll do the second one nakira nakira the noon followed by the calf so how do we do it we go straight smoothly to the uh, large dal shape and then we continue we don't stop we go on to do the ya and the ra put the fatha the two dots in the bottom of the ya we go back and we add the slant for the calf put the dot on the noon on the top of the noon put the fatha on the top of the noon and that would be the second word so we'll do the third one or we'll do the fourth one so how do we do it as we said large dal go straight to the next part Oops. large dal straight to the next part which is the alif continue on, we don't stop the noon the, the well, we put the dot on the top of the noon then we go back and we add the slant for the calf see so I hope it's clear and you understand what I'm trying to show you Of course, the noon doesn't need to be that large. Or we put the dot on the top. Canu. So I'll do uh, I'll do this one again so you can understand fully what I'm trying to get at. This is how you would write the word when the calf when you're writing it when it's following a word or when it's coming after a word so we'll do both again you should do it with me we do the large dad shape then we go straight to the next word letter which is the bat straight to the next letter which is the yet straight to the next letter the dot then we add all the dots two dots on the bottom of the yeah the dot on the bottom of the bat Uh, then we go with we, we, the dhamma. Then we go back and we add the slant line on the calf with the fatha on the top. We'll do the dhamma again. It's too well, it's too big. Dhamma that's still too big actually. But that's the smallest I can go with this computer. Dhamma. We'll go back and we add the slant as we said. And the fatha. We'll do the second one again. How do we do it now? Okay. Here's the noon. Now what do we do? We go to the dal shape of the calf. Now what? Now we continue on with the next letter, which is the yeah. Now what? Continue on with the next letter, the ra. Now what? Now we add the two dots on the bottom of the yeah. Okay. The 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 fatha. Now what? Then we add the line for the calf. Put the dot for the noon, fatha for the noon. So I hope it's clear. And I hope you understand what I am trying to show you. Sorry for the board not being clear. Inshallah, uh, hope soon that I can write these lessons on a real board, which will make it a whole lot clearer for this class and this uh, Arabic 1 course at the Madina Institute. I cannot do that, but inshallah, ho I hope that I can in the future. Inshallah, for the coming um, 
not sessions for this class, but the coming classes, meaning Arabic 2, Arabic 3, etc. Now, we'll go on to, I think we should go on to our session quiz before we go on to our next letter. Because I think time is running out, so inshallah we'll go on to our uh, session quiz. Now we'll go on to our session 5 quiz. You have 5 questions. I'll put each question up individually, pause the video for each question, and then continue on after you're done with each question to get to the next question. At the end of all the questions, we'll go through the answers so you can see how you did for the session 5 quiz. Here's the first question. Pause your video before going on to the next one. So you can do this one. Here's the second question. So pause your video and do all these questions before going on because at the end after we're gonna go uh, we're gonna go over the answers so you can see how you did. So don't continue on until you do them. So pause your video now before going on to the next part of the uh, lesson, which is us going through the answers. So the first question was, the uh, first uh, answer to the first question was D. The answer to the second question was B. B. The answer to the third question was C. C. Answer to the fourth question was B. The answer to the last question was C. C. So I hope you did 100% on your session 5 quiz. Alhamdulillah, we went through quite a bit of material. We did three new letters in this session. We did the ba, the ta, and the kaf. Next session, we'll go on to the, a new letter, the letter mean. The letter meme next session and we'll finish up inshallah lesson two in our book that we're using by Sheikh Bilal Phillips. We'll have quite a bit of practice next next session and reading and writing and uh, uh, we'll even go on to read sentences inshallah real sentences next session session six inshallah and that will conclude our session five. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.